Take away from rain in the new year, and a lot of people are going to be toasting with some champagne or maybe even some sparkling. Joining us this morning is Corbell Director of Winemaking, Paul Avenana. Oh, thank you. Glad to be here. We have the best job yeah. ever. Oh, no, no. You know what? I have the best job ever. Okay. Well, I get to sharing. make wine and I get to taste wine. You know, I get up in the morning, go to work, and usually by 8 o'clock in the morning, I'll have taste of my first wine. Wow. So I'm going to let the clock stop working. Can you explain the difference between sparkling and champagne for our viewers sure. who may not know? You know, know there's a, before you know, know, honestly, there's a, there's a lot of different levels to that conversation. And we'll, you know, for the purpose of today, let's stay away from the politics of it and the whole Francis versus. California thing, uh, but for us at Corbell, it's really about the process. Uh, champagne is a product that is fermented twice. Right. First you do it in the tank, and then you ferment it the second time in the exact same bottle that the consumer is going to get. And that's what you have in your hand? That's right. So this wine's been fermented twice. The second fermentation occurs right inside the bottle, and that forms the natural carbonation. Sparkling wine, on the other hand, can either be done in huge tanks and then filtered into bottles, or even just artificially carbonated like mineral. Let's pop it while, you, while we keep going.